all right we are definitely going to look at the hello world program today uh the hello world project today so just before we begin just before we start we have to look at what um this stand for what this means um the comments of course you've heard about comments as you are beginning your c journey you have heard about comments is basically the line of, of test ignored by the compiler because it's a compiled language when the compiler try to compile or run the code uh, if you see the comment which are indicated by double slash and then you have single line then you have the multi-line comment um, any statement that precedes this is going to be ignored by the compiler it will not be compiled then you have the include directive this include directive this line tells the compiler um to include the stdio.hedder file there are other um directive which you could include but basically for hello world you are including the standard input output dot header file and um it contains declaration for standard input and output functions then you have the main the main okay the main function you can call it the main function so every C begin with the main function and basically what it is is the main it is where the uh, execution of the program begins so that is where execution starts in the program so let's jump right and start working on the project all right guys welcome we are in this video we look at the share basics we are going to look at this uh, project share basics all right first um let me say this if i want to explain everything about shell it's going to take you know an hour video and even more than that to do that so i'm going to just you know just explain the basics that you need for this project all right because if you hit up down if you go down you you, you discover that we have about um, 19 tasks to accomplish so that is that's quite much so I will just do uh, a little explanation then we head back to solving the tax all right so that is that you, you can see we have 19 tax to accomplish here so let me um, hit back up So first, what is a shell? We are looking at this shell basis project. What is a shell? A shell is simply a computer program that presents a command line interface. Okay? A program that presents a command line interface. And it helps to take in input from the keyboard. It uh, accepts input from your keyboard and set that input to the operating system for processing. Alright? And a shell runs in an environment called the terminal so uh, in, in a nutshell the terminal is the bridge between a user and a shell you cannot interact directly with the terminal so uh, with the shell so the terminal is the bridge between you the user and the shell all right so a shell runs in, a, an, in an environment called the terminal okay so having said that uh, let's head back and you know start working on our project right now We are going to move down and look at our tax. Okay, these are some the quiz. Okay, before I just proceed, let me show you um, the solutions to the quiz. I might not be able to explain that right now because of time, so you can just look at it. These are the solutions to the quiz. All right, so let me hide that. Okay, so we move to the first tax. Where am I? Write a script that prints the absolute path name of the current working directory. The absolute part name of the correct working directory so let me go back to my terminal um, ALS software engineering DevOps all right let me list the files and directories I have there let's see that okay I have already I have that directory uh, zero times zero zero share basis and a readme file so let me navigate into the zero times zero zero um, share basics Share basic directory. Alright. Ok. 
okay so i'm already in that directory this directory share basis directory so they want us to um create the file this file and write a script that prints the absolute path name of the current working directory so i'm going to copy the name of this file all right i'm going to copy that i'll be using vi so vi i paste the name control v to paste I press tab all right i'm in the vi you know terminal right now so what I, I want to do i want to go into the insert mode you press i to enter the insert mode okay it, i can now you know type whatever i want to type in here so what's the command to do that first you know from from the instruction they told us that here they said the first line of your file should be exactly this all right so that should be the first line of your file so I'm going to write that here as the first line. So hash exclamation mark bin bash bin bash. So that will be our first line. Exactly that. So the second line will be what was the script to preview? So that will be PWD. PWD. So I escape column WQ to get out of the VI mode. All right, so that is that. So after this, the next thing you do is to make this file an executable file. That's part of the instruction. That's part of the instruction to make that file an executable file. All right. All your script. Look at it here. The requirement. See, all your script must be executable so use the change mode chmod u plus f and the file name so that's exactly what, what you are going to do right now so chmod u plus x the name of our file press tab all right so that has made help us make so if I list this the files and directory, you can see it has changed the color of this file. So that means this is now an executable file. So that's that. Done. You git add. Git commit. So uh, I'm going to commit with the name of the file. All right, git add, git commit. I git push. Git push. Okay, so um, I'll just input that password. I don't know why. Let me just input that password. Yours might not uh, ask you for that password, so I paste it. All right, so that worked. Let me clear my screen right now. So I think the first task is done. You can check that. That would be correct. All right, start a new test. All right, that's all correct. So I move to the second task. What is in there? Display the content list of your current directory. So I display the, the 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 content list of your current directory. How do you do that? Is simply with ls. But remember, they told us that we must the first line must contain contain the um. They gave us the instruction on what to put on the first line so the ls should be in the second line so i simply copy the file name copy that vi i paste the file name there so what am i writing to the first line that is constant I enter the start mode by pressing i bin bash So how 
how do you do that is simply ls ls to list the content list you use the command ls so i do that get out of vi escape shift column wq enter so i have to change this file again to an executable file change mode chmod mode u plus x the name of the file so if i list see it's an executable file so after doing that i simply git add git commit Okay, that have to be in quotes, please. Git commit. And I git push. Git push. Let me just paste that. alright so let me check let's check our code right now alright that's correct so I move to the next tax quickly there is no place like home write a script that changes the working directory to the users home directory you are not you are not allowed to use any share variable write a script that changes the working directory to the users home directory that's what what they ask us. They want us to do right now. So uh, let me copy this file. The name of this file. So let's do vi. Control v paste. Enter the vi mode in i. I type i to enter the sat mode. Our first line be this bin bash then what is the command is cd then um uh, the batik all right we use this so that's the command to you know to, to write the, that changes the working directory to the user's home directory okay so i press escape wq to leave the to exit the VI mode so I get I'm out of VI so what I need to do I change my file to executable file by using ch mod u plus x u plus x then define the name that will help us change that so when I'm done, I git add, git commit, so after doing that, you'll have to clear my screen after now, I git push, Alright, I just have to put in this after this um tutorial I'm going to remove um this prompting for password. Control AV and paste that in enter. So I believe that that has been pushed successfully. Let me clear my screen. Alright. So I believe that was done successfully. So let's check our code right now. So it's all checked. That means we are correct. So I close that. We head to the next tax immediately. The long format. Display current content in a long format. So how do we display the current content in a long format? So first, how do you first print? 
content you use ls in a long format you include a dash or a hyphen a l so let's copy the file name copy the file name vi i paste I enter the vi mode i tap i to enter the sat mode put in the the necessary the compulsory line they ask us to add bin bash so what's the command to to display the current the current directory content in a long format to display content how do you print content first you use ls in a long format you use l so that's just that i escape out of that so uh, to exit vi colon wq enter so i change my file to be an executable file change mode u plus x my file name so that is done i git add git commit the name of my file what I'm uh, my commit message I input my commit message then I git push git push just input this no worry yours might not ask you might not prompt you every now and then for password all right we are done with that tax so let's check our code right now oh checked so let's quickly move to the next tax hidden files display current directory content including hidden files starting with dot using the long format first how do we display hidden files i copy define name copy that I come here okay, let me first clear my screen vi I paste the file name I tap I to enter it in the sat mode my first line I have to impute that pin bash All right. So how do you first this is display the code including hidden files starting with dash using the long format? How do you display hidden files? To display hidden files, you use a. Okay. So how do we first list the content of a directory? ls, right? You already know that ls. To display hidden files, what do you do? How do you display the files? You use dash a. For this said, look at the question. Display current directory content including HD files starting with that dot. That means if it started with dot, that means they are HD files like dot ignore, dot git ignore, and the rest. Then use the long format. So how do we um, use the long format? To use the long format, you add your L. So that's that. Just as simple as that. So display the HD files in a long format. So that L displays them in a long format. A display in the files then ls list your uh, files in your directory so i escape from wq to quit i change my file to become executable change mode u plus x my file name all right i git add git commit I get push. Control AV, I paste that in. So I'm done with that. So let's check our code. 
is all checked so we can move to the next tax I love numbers which is the, the number five display current directory content in a long format with user and group ID displayed numerically and Hindi file starting with dot so uh, let's first let's copy the, the file name copy that let me first clear my screen so that you will see okay all right a vi i paste the file name control a v so i tap i to enter the sat mode our first line the content of our first line must be this bin bash So first, you already know to list files and directory you use ls. So now the question says, display current directory content ls to list in a long format. How do you do that in a long format? Do you remember that? In a long format. Can you tell us? <laughs> All right display that in a long form I use L with user group ID displayed numerically with user group ID displayed numerically so do you remember that to do that you use the letter N then and he defies how do you display he defies you already talked about that you use a so do you understand that LS list content of files and directory L to display files in a long format N with user and group ID numerically and A HD files you know to display HD files you use what A alright you use A to display HD files so you can just rearrange that to have L A N I think that's better so let me escape but I already explained how I arrived at this. So I escape column WQ out of the VI mode. So let me change my file to executable file chmod u plus x. Our file name. Okay. If you list that now, you see that is has the color has changed so it's now an, an, an executable file so after i have done that let's git add git commit dash m a commit message let's git push All right, let me just put this in. That shouldn't bother you. You might not, it might not prompt you for that. All right, so let's check our code quickly. All checked. I mean, you are correct. We head to the next task immediately. Create a script that creates a directory named my first directory in the uh, slash tmp directory so we have to create a script that creates a directory named this in this directory so it's like we are going to write this first then this come next do you understand let's let's do that first let me copy my file name so that I won't i won't get you confused copy my file name back to my terminal let me just first clear the screen all right let's vi paste that tap i to enter the sat mode all right so let's put the content of our first line slash bin bash slash bin bash so how do you do that Create a script that you know, display the content that create a directory name that 
in in this TMP directory. So to make directory mkdir, right? That's to make directory. So what are we making? What directory are we making? We are making this directory inside this. So this is going to come first, right? This is going to come first. This TMP is going to come first. Slash TMP we confess. So we are making this directory inside this directory to be inside this directory. Something like that. I believe you, you understand that. Okay, let me just type that out. My first directory. Right, so that is just that. That's that. This helps you, you know. This is just the 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 command to do that. Make directory. You are making this directory inside the TMP directory. All right. Have we done that? Escape. Colon WQ. Inside the VM mode. All right. I make my file executable. Please don't forget that. Colon U plus X. Your file name. Sorry about that. Let me just copy this. Name of our file. So have we done that? We get add. Git commit. With our commit message. Then we get push. I just put this this in. All right, so that has been done. I'm I'm setting that is correct. So let's check. So it's all checked. We move to the next task. Betty in my first directory. Betty in my first directory. Let me clear this. Move the file Betty from this this directory to this directory. All right. We are moving the file Betty from this directory to this directory. That's what they want us to do. So let me first copy this file. Copy that VI. That the VI mode. I press insert to enter the SAT mode. A content for the first line. Bin bash. So how do you move? To move a file, how do you do that? You use the MV command, all right. You use the MV command to move a file. So, which directory is the file located? It's located in the TMP directory, all right. TMP directory. So, what is the uh, file we are moving? We are moving Betty. We are we moving Betty to? We are moving Betty to TMP. We are moving Betty to TMP, uh, my first directory, underscore, my first directory. Alright, so that's just the command to do that. Okay, believe that it's, it's easy to comprehend. So, Escape column WQ out of the SAT mode. Alright, change it to an executable file chmod U plus X. 
the name of my our file git add git commit a commit message I git push in this all right I believe that is correct so let's check our code either way so I'll check so move to the next tax bye bye Betty said delete the file Betty so let me copy this define here Let's clear this. So VI paste that in. I to enter insert mode. Our first line. Bin bash. So it said delete the delete the file Betty in that directory so how do you delete a file what command do you use to delete a file is rom rom so what are we deleting liberty in that so i type tmp my my first directory all right tmp my first directory so the name of the file we are deleting which is what betty okay tmp my first directory we are deleting the file betty so i believe that is correct escape out of the start mode column wq Move out of VI CHMOD to make my file executable. Name of my file I git add git commit my commit message. Git push. <laughs> so that is done. Let's check our code. So that's all checked. The next task is bye bye my first directory. So delete the directory, my first directory that is in the TMP directory. So I copy this file. VA. Paste that. That is start mode, our first line. Bin bash. So what command to delete a directory? ROM dash arrow. So why are we putting that? Is because it's a, re a directory. So this means recursive. This dash arrow stands for recursive. That means we are deleting, we are removing it forcefully. That's to delete a directory. If it's a, a file, you use just ROM. Alright, I believe you should understand that. So delete the directory my first directory inside the tmp directory so i have to put my tmp directory first what directory am i deleting my first my first directory delete 
within my first directory CITMP directory so that's that escape WQ I get out of insert mode so I make it an executable file chmod u plus x my file name so git add git commit with my commit message git push Let me do that again. Git push. Okay. Copy that. So that has been done correctly, I believe. Let's confirm, but by, by checking our code. So I checked. So we moved directly to the next task back to the future write a script that changes the working directory to the previous one a script that changes the working directory to the previous one all right so let me copy the name of the file vi control v name of our file that is start mode first red line bin bash he said this a script that changes the working directory to the previous one so to do that is simply cd hyphen cd hyphen it will change your directory from the current directory to the previous directory so escape wq get out i change it to an executable file u plus x name of my file have we done that i git add git commit dash m my commit message Then I get push. Control V to paste that. So we are done with that. Believe it's correct, but let's check. Let's check our code. Oh check. So I move to the next task, which is list. Write a script that lists all files, even the ones. For that, let me just copy the name of the file. Copy. Vi. Control V. I paste the. V name of our file so we are now in the VI mode uh, first the content uh, first compulsory line being bash we said write a script that lists all files even the ones beginning with a period then which are normally hidden in the current so we are going to that's what we are going to do next so how do you first list files ls right you use ls so how do you list all files both uh, 
both hidden files you use a right that's what we did before in the correct directory and the parent of the working directory and the boot directory in the order in the long format so in the current working directory so to assess the current working directory you use dot all right then the parent directory they want us to put that in the parent directory right now to assess the parent directory you use dot dot right all right so then they said and the parent of the working directory and the boot directory so we include that boot directory okay in this order in the long format we are not done so we go back it have all of them have to be in the long format how do you do that by using what l the long format all right so that is just that escape wq i zvi chm modi make it executable u plus x name of our file so we get add git commit commit message git push and put my token so that has been done let me clear that I believe we are correct but let's check so it's all checked so move to the next task file type so first let me copy this vi control v to paste our compulsory first line bin bash so they said write a script that prints the type of the file named this the file i am filed will be the tmp directory when we run your script so write a script that, that types that prints the type of the file i am filed all right so how do you do that by just using the command file so file you use the command file and they said the file i am file will be the tmp directory so you assess your tmp directory and the name of your file which is what i am file believe that's that so done is it wq make your file executable u plus x the name of your file git add git commit commit message git push so I put that Cassidius might not always prompt you for this so I believe we are correct but let's confirm by checking our code all checked so we'll quickly move to the next task We are symbols and inhibits what? 
symbols they have bit symbols so I copy the name of the file I paste that to enter VI that is sat mode pause the first line bin bash alright so he said create a symbolic link to this named to this this is the destination for symbolic link name this is the name of a symbolic link the symbolic link should be created in the current working word directory so that is what um, they want us to do right now to create a symbolic link so that's what we are going to be doing so the question is how do you, what is a symbolic link symbolic links are links between files as a link that links a file to another it helps you link it links one file to another file so how do you create a symbolic link by using ln so ln hyphen s s signify that this is a symbolic link all right so what's the destination of our symbolic link it should be created here like they told us this is that so it should be this de destination of the symbolic link and then what is the name of our symbolic link this is the name underscore ls so let's do that you hold your shift and your minus sign twice all right your shift and your min your minus sign twice okay so that is that we are done skip lon.wq exit vi chmod to make it executable u plus x name of our file git add Add git commit a commit message then we git push Just put in my my password, which is my token. All right, so we are done with that. We are done with that tax. Clear that. Believe we are correct, but let's just check our code. Confirm if you are right or wrong. All checked. So we move to the next tax copy html files create a script that 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 does that first let me first just copy the name of our file copy vi is that i to enter insert mode compository first line bin bash So he said, create a script that copies all the HTML files from the current working directory to the parent of the working directory, but only copy files that did not exist in the parent of the working directory or were newer than the version in the parent of the working directory. Okay, so how do you do that? Create a script that copies all the HTML files. How do you copy? Uh, how do you copy files? How do you copy files? You use the command what? CP. So you use the command CP to copy files. So that copies all the HTML files from the current working directory. So to copy all the files, we are going to use what? 
a white card so what is a white card a white card is a command that helps us to target all files target all files remember they asked us to copy all the HTML files so I'm going to use a white card that target all the files so I will do that so that will help us to target all the files what are we copying dot html files we are copying dot html what files dot html files so let's um read on copy that only files that did not independent of the working or we are newer than the version that that so we have all, all HTML files from the current working directory to the parent of the working directory. So how do we copy that into the parent of the working directory? To copy those files into the parent of the working directory, you use dot dot. Alright? Dot dot to copy to the parent of the working directory and you include your, your slash. Okay. Are we done? No. Look at the question very well. It said but only copy files that did not exist in the parent of the working directory right now we have copied all the html files by using our wide card by using our wide card we have copied all the html files but this, there's a clause it said but only copy files that did not exist in the parent of the working directory so how do you only copy files we want to copy files that did not exist in the parent of the working directory. How do you do that? You simply introduce this dash un. Alright? That will help you to copy files that only exist in the parent of the working directory. So that is that. So that's that. So escape. WQ. Let's get out of this. CHMOD U plus X. U plus X. Name of our file. We are making our file an executable file with CHMOD U plus X. Let's list that. You can see. Yes, 14. It has changed. The color is, has changed. So it's not an executable file. So, have we done that? We git add. Git commit. To AV to paste. Our commit message. Git push. Git push. Prompting me to input that uh, password. I'm of token. So I input that. Control V. We are done. Let me clear my screen. All right. Believe you are correct, but to confirm, let's check our code. So, all checked. Let's move to the next tax. That is. Let's move. That's the task we are in now create a script that moves all files beginning with an uppercase letter to the directory slash tmp slash u you can assume that your directory will be we exist when you run the script but let's copy the name of the file copy the file name vi is that I enter the start mode a compulsory first line 
green brush all right so let's sit back and again uh, look at that create a script that moves all files beginning with an package letter to a directory that all right how do you move files hmm? to move files you use the command mv right sorry to move files you use mv all right so they said move all files beginning with an uppercase letter all right to do that i'm going to introduce the the angle bracket sorry i'm going to introduce the angle bracket okay i'm going to use the angle bracket to indicate that we are moving all files beginning with an uppercase letter leave you get that movie all files beginning with an uppercase letter I'm going to type uppercase I close I close my angle tag okay so I'm going to use uh, a white card here also while we use it that to show that we are moving all Alright, can you see that white card to show that we are moving all of the files? Okay. We are what's the destination set to the directory of to this directory slash tmp slash u. So I'm going to type that slash tmp slash u. Okay, I believe that's done. That's done. So WQ CHMOD CHMOD to make my file executable U plus X file name so I will do that I git add git commit was my commit message so That's my commit message. Then git push. Then I put in this uh, password. All right. So we are done with that, which of course I believe is correct. But let's confirm by checking our code. Okay, oh, that has been tick. So I wonder why they still can't. So it means that's correct. We we'll move to the next tax. Clean Emac. Clean uh, create a script that deletes all files in the correct working directory that ends with the character, you know, backtick. All right. So that is exactly what we we will be doing. Copy the file name vi control v paste that tap i to enter a sat mode uh, first line oh sorry about that let me
sorry let me just get out of here Alright, oh. Okay, oh, I don't <laughs> let me just get out of here. this window all right sorry about that please sorry about that let's just continue insert mode all right enter the insert mode okay bin slash bin bash so the question says create a script that delete all files in the current working directory that end with the character this back tick so i'm going to be how do you delete a file you to delete a file you use arrow m all right so how do you delete all files how do you delete all files do you remember how we do that the last time how we did that you use the white card all right i do that in the current working directory that end with the character but in the current working that end with this character back tick. so i'm going to put that so i believe that settles that all right so skip So I'm going to chmod to make my file executable u plus x my file name so if I list you see Yes, this is it. Clean Emacs is is executable now. So I get add. Git commit dash m name of my file. Git push. So I quickly enter this this token. 
to AV. All right. Let me first. Let me just clear my screen. Okay. So that has been done. Let's just check our code to confirm that. Okay, I believe that is correct. It's marked done already. So I move to the next task. Create a script that create the directory welcome in the welcome to school in the current directory. So I copy the the file name. Copy that. I move here. Vi I paste file name. Tap insert to enter the sat mode. put my first line bin bash so let's look through the question again create a script that creates the directory welcome welcome to and welcome to school in the current uh, directory so that's what we are going to do right now so how do you do that I create a script that create the directory this and this and this in the current uh, directory so to do that let's come here how do you create a directory mkdir right you know that already make directory so since we are creating uh, three directories in the current working directory, we are going to use a command which is dash p. What does dash p do? It help it causes a directory name to be shown with the trailing slash. All right, so you can see these directories; they are shown with this. There is a slash can see that there's a a trailing slash so that's dash p help you you know to show your directory with that trailing slash so that is what that dash p does so what are we creating welcome slash to slash school so that that is what they ask us to do that's just what they ask us to do so this dash p is going to help us to put a, a trailing slash in each of these okay so i escape colon wq get out of the vi mode Col uh, change mode u plus x The name of my file git add git commit AV. my commit message then I git push in this token that isn't going to show you know that already so I believe we are done with that tax let's confirm by checking our code So that has been checked. That means it's correct. So move to the penultimate tax. Life is a series of commas. 
so before I even read the question let me just first copy the file name make it easier so I come here vi av oh sorry that is my token I have I didn't copy that very well copy I paste that onto AV to enter VI mode insert mode by tapping I hashtag bin bash so let's look through what we are asked to do said so write a command that list all the files and the directories of the current directory separated by comma directory name should be end with the slash file and directory starting with a dot should be listed and the file should alpha except for the directory dash and a uh, dot and dot dot which should be listed at very beginning then only digit and letters are to be used to sort digit should come first you can assume that all the files we test we which we have at least one letter or one digit don't worry it's <laughs> it looks very long but we are going to do that it's not as difficult as you you are thinking so how do we do that how do we list at least you you know this ls to list files all right so what else? What the, what are we listing? First, we are going to list all files and directory of the current working directory separated by common. Okay, all files. How do you list all files? First, you use a. To list of file, you are going to use a command, sorry, dash A. Alright? Do you understand that? At least, at least you have used that command before now, dash, dash A to list all files. Okay? Then, it went for that to say, directory names should end, directory names should end with a slash. Okay? Then files and directories starting with a dot should be listed. So hidden files, hidden files. All right. Sorry, a help us to list hidden files. I beg your pardon. Uh, that was a an over a help us to list what hidden files. Okay. Beginning with a dot. Then the listing should be a file that except for the directories did, and only digit and letters are used to sort. So let's work on this files and directory starting with a dot we have done that then directory name should end with a a slash okay write a command that lists all the files and directory of the current directory separated by commas so how do you list files and directory separated by commas hmm? how do you do that you use dash m so m help you list files and directories separated with a comma i don't know if you understand that for this a it helps you list hidden files and directory even those beginning with a dot then this m it help you list uh, files and directories separated with a comma i believe you are following okay so we proceed Have we done that? What else? We said. Move. Let's look at this. Only digit and letters are used to sort. Digit should come first. So how do you list files and directories of the current direct separated by commas in which only digit and letters are used to sort? Okay. So how do you do that? That's where we are now. 
so you are going to use the command dash v or v because there's already a hyphen here v what does that do it help you to sort sort your version number within text so here they said only digit and letters are to sort are used to sort so that this v help you to sort digits and letters or text i don't know if you are following that's what that v help you to do then lastly directory names should end with a slash write a command that lists all files and directory of the current current uh, directory separated by a comma in which directory name should end with a slash so how do you list files and directory that end with a slash or a trailing slash you use what p you use what p so believe that is that so let me just quickly go over it again a help you to list list ls list files and directory with ls then a help you to list hidden files and directory even those beginning with a dot a dot so that settles this then what does m do help m help you display all files and directory separated with a comma m the letter m help you list all files and directory separated with a comma all right with a comma files and directory separated with a comma you use m to do that all right then what does v do v help you sort of version number within text so this line uh, only digit and letters are used to sort dg should come first and you can assume that all of the files will be test with it okay so v help you to sort list of files and directory of the current working that is separated by comma in which uh, sorting of version of number within the test v help you to do that and what does p do all right p causes directory name to be shown within a slash so this p help you accomplish this okay so that is that i believe that is correct all right so i skip out of that column WQ column WQ to a ZVI so I change it to an executable file CHMOD U plus S control A V define name so git add git commit dash M a commit message git push So I just let me quickly paste in this uh, password. All right, it has been pushed successfully. Let me clear that. Okay, so let's check. I believe we are correct, but let's just check our code. let that just be checking on the background so it's tick done so that's correct so for the last task it said create a magic file this that can be used in the command file to detect school data files data file always contain the string school so let me copy the name of the file this is the last task so vi a v name of our file 
All right. I to enter a sort mode. I compose the first line. Okay. Sorry. For this task, since um they must contain each of them have to be um two two lines. So I'll prefer. Though if you include that, it might work. But I'll prefer to you know um skip that first line. All right. So what command am I going to use? For this they said create a magic file so how do you create a magic file not just create a magic file create a magic file that can be used with the command file to detect school data files then school data files always contain the string this at offset zero so how do you do that you put your zero not okay start mode You type in zero, which is the offset, all right? Then they told us that that a, a magic file that can be used with the command file to detect school data files. School data always contain the string school. So you put in your string. You put in um, your string. So I type string. What is the string? The string they gave us is school, which is that capital, this school. I think capital letters. Okay. Then, to detect what? The school data file. So I type in my school. Sorry. Then, data okay so since we are creating a magic file you have to add a meme a meme since we are creating a magic file you, ha you have to add a meme a meme starts for multi-purpose internet mail extension and what does it do it lets users exchange different kinds of data that's what meme do so since I've created a magic file I have to add a meme all right and like i said meme stands for multi-purpose internet mail extension so meme and what is the name of the school all right so i believe that settles that okay this is how to create a magic file so I escape out of the start mode column WQ I leave VI so before I do any other thing I have to compile the file it's a magic file so it has to be compiled so to compile my file I type file iPhone capital seal then lowercase m the name of my file paste that in so that is that i have to compile my file so i have done that so let me list oh sorry so you can see this is my magic file. It's different from every other file. It's different from all other files here. All right. So have we done that? I believe we are done. So I can get add. Git commit. that my token so push successfully so 
let's check finally alright that is checked out correctly so uh, thank you so much if you like this content please uh, give me a like subscribe and leave a comment below in the comment section thank you so much uh, i'll see you in the next video